inside beleaguered pits. I think it's time to get creative here, in public. I think it would be a gas to go to a nightclub in a little black miniskirt and a, say, a tie-dyed tank top with long as God can grow it armpit hair dyed hot magenta to match. A perfect accessory. Or how about, for the more romantic lace and ribbons look, tiny little braids. And the jack of the things he would sometimes hear his mommy say, come to their shack before she dies. television murmured the farm report. Her mother watched sip scalding coffee. This is called Waterfall, the epic of Johnny Rebound. Give me a little something, Brian. Yeah. More at sea. I'm just joking, I can't tell C from A or X. Amidst the lake of people gathered in this room, one man appeared above the water walking. His name was Johnny Rebound. Johnny Rebound arrived in the flesh and the bone. His features vague, his shape ambiguous. All the girls in the room, their eyes welled and teary, swooning and sighing. Get over there.
crap of life of yesterday and my mind. Let it out, get it out, shit it out. Circle, circle, circle of frustration is mine no more. The changing wind is worthy of my heart tonight. The changing wind is upon us, upon me, upon us all tonight. In neon visions of feminine bliss before me, hanging before me, beside me, above me. The soaring and crashing waves of salt water and sunlight. All the globes have changed. The countries have no borders. The rivers are cutting new channels in their desire to reach each other. This is the discovery of a known one. Say, 
will eventually solve all of these problems. And threw it on the ash pile. When morning came, they found it was only a little tame garter snake, which had scared me, and they laughed at me for screaming. But I was surely scared. Tell me your name before we do the do. With a smile on her face, she said, it's Lucy. Lucy Blue. Friday after the third Sunday here at the cafe in the Yukio Mishima room, there will be a special seminar on spontaneous combustion, led by Dr. Guy Madison. I'm sure we've all been in that embarrassing situation where the circumstances required us to burst into flames, but to our chagrin, we just couldn't do it. Now you and your loved ones can learn the proper techniques. Of course, prepayment for the seminar is requested. Citizens, the time has come to sweep away the old order. We, the Committee for Public Safety, are spreading the gospel of virtualism across the land. We are a multimedia production group whose sacred duty is to create alternate realities using text, music, video, performance, design. We extract new environments from the mundane. 
The first storming of the Bastille of Boredom occurred with Club of Virtual, a spontaneous forum for artistic expression featuring the most talented artists in Las Vegas. The very first virtual took place at Record Emporium Fenway Bop. Virtual move to Cafe Rainbow, where there are weekly performances for a seven month run. Right now, 
right at the crystallized apogee of all I have known. I do not believe in God's glory. I believe in fear and oblivion. Then um, I have a nasty little habit to some people of capturing creatures and keeping them as a pet and getting to know them and um, if they die I keep them anyway. <laughs> I dry them out and keep them in a box that I have since I'm about five years old. And um, anyway, this poem is about a toad, and actually several toads that I found on a golf course. Yeah, toads. Last Cafe Rainbow show was January 18th but such acts as Tippy Elvis, Dave Figler's band, continued on at such venues as the Huntridge Theatre for the Performing Arts, and Deborah Cohen's Wolf Cycle piece, which was first performed at Club Virtual, was later performed at the Summerlin Theatre. now continues its great work. We shall infiltrate all cells of counter-revolutionary art until the weed of virtualism has fastened itself upon the culture. No medium is safe. Viva la virtual! Viva la Committee for Public Safety! Oh my god. I've been in this little room fooling around with all of this junk for too long. Just so I could bring a nice tape for you to see, like the one you're watching right now. I hope it came out nice, but I somehow doubt that it did considering my growing level of frustration I'm experiencing at this moment. But it's all very virtual. It is. I hope you enjoy yourself as much as I do. Because I really enjoy myself a lot. <laughs> well.